Well, welcome back to another adventure everyone. And today you join me in a very popular place for hiking. Just behind me down there is a wee village called Tindrum. And I'm here to do another Corbett. I think it's Ben Oder is how it's pronounced. And all of the higher peaks in the area are just covered in a thick layer of cloud. So I thought I'd do one that's slightly lower down. I think it's about 901 meters. So yeah, it's absolutely freezing out right now. So I've wrapped up warm. I've got about five layers on. So I'm sure I'll be roasting when I'm ascending up this hill. So I'm gonna continue on and I'll show you the mountain I'm heading up today. So that right there is the hill that I'm heading up and it was cloud free about two or three minutes ago. So hopefully it's just passing by. This path that I'm following along just outside of Tindrum is actually, I think it's part of the West Highland Way. And I mean, you can see why it's really well maintained gravel track, but I'm sure I'll be onto the boggy grasslands in uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. Well, there you go. As you can see, the cloud seems to be coming and going. So I'm just gonna keep going and hopefully by the time I get to the top, it'll be clear. There's a couple of patches of snow, which is quite cool. I'm hoping to, this will be my first snow of the, the season. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Wow, just uh, through the middle there. I think that's Ben Doreen. Just absolutely shrouded in cloud. That looks pretty menacing. Passing over the train line. It's quite cool. Well, this is the point where I continue down that way for the West Island Way, or I cut off to the right, so. I'm cutting off right, heading up this hill. Well, it's instantly like 10 times more boggy. You can just see, quite boggy, but you can make it out, a faint path, heading its way up to the top of that. We're just sort of getting into the start of the winter season now. I'm so excited for snow. It's been ages, like months, since I've been able to get out of the crampons and ice axe. And also, the snow just makes the mountains look so much cooler, I think. And also, it's just a bit of a different challenge that you don't often get in Scotland. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I began the ascent of the mountain, and the grassy slopes made for easy walking. As I got higher, the views behind me started to open up. Small cairns had been placed to make the path easier to follow. Wow! Look at that helicopter going through the valley there. That is amazing. And it's gone. I'll tell you what, this is steep. Which makes sense because you're covering quite a lot of ascent and not that much distance. But look at these views behind me, my word. Over to Ben Louis, that huge one with loads of cloud covering it. And then to the left, I think Ben Oss and Ben Du Craig. And then Ben O'Clay will be somewhere hidden behind. Wow. Ben Louis is something else, it really is. Just spotted Ben Morn's Dominion. I think that is. Oh, so much snow on them, I'm jealous. That looks amazing. Oh well. Sure we'll get snow in the future. Well, looks like we may be a bit unlucky. Quite a lot of cloud, 
passing over, I think the summit's just about 100 metres up that way. But I'm going to continue on and see if it clears anyway. I'll tell you what, though, the wind's picked up a lot. It's quite cold up here. So I doubt I'll be spending too long at the top if it's covered in clouds. I have made it to the top of Ben Oder, a height of 901 metres. I think it's my 13th Corbett and there's absolutely no views up here, just surrounded in clag and it's so windy as well. So I think I'm just going to head down a little bit and find somewhere a bit more sheltered where I can get some views and have some lunch. My god. It's wild up here. Let's go. I was absolutely mental at the top there. I've just come down a tiny bit, it's just behind me. But I mean, even the difference of like 10, 15 meters lower down, and it's a lot calmer. Up the top there was absolutely wild. But I'm starving, so I'm gonna find somewhere to get some food. Here we are, the perfect rock. Let's get a seat here, comfort level. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> it's a lot calmer down here. And I've actually got some nice views in front of me. Probably gonna get some food now. Absolutely starving. I actually feel like my face feels like wind beaten. And I was only up there for like 10 minutes. I think it's just because it's so cold. It's so nice when you're out that wind. I'm just sitting here and I'm sort of sheltered and it's just. Beautiful. The colours in the sky you get in winter are absolutely amazing. What a viewpoint this is. You can see down to Tindrum, that's the wee town I started in. And just 360 of mountains. Pretty amazing, the colour of the sky over there. Some view. Right, well, I've enjoyed some food and drink and I've been relaxing here for probably like 15 minutes or so. So I think I'm just going to head down. It gets really cold when you're just sitting, doing nothing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a short up and down. Uh, up Ben Older. I think it's quite a popular Corbett. That's why the path is quite well maintained. But it's uh, increased my Corbett count. So yeah, if you have enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And hopefully you'll join me next week for another adventure. Let's go. Oh, got these steep slopes to contend with now. I forgot how steep it is, man. It's absolutely brutal. 